Well, tonight here, uh, we take you to the country of Cameroon, Africa, for a story of hope, love, and gratefulness. News Channel 9's Jennifer Sanders takes us on a journey through the Central African country, where she volunteered for the Cameroon Dental Project. She joined nine U.S. dentists and volunteers to provide critical dental care for youth in need. Here's Mission Cameroon. This bird's eye view sets the stage for what can only be described as a life-changing journey through Cameroon, Africa. We have the mountain, we have the lakes, we have the, the ocean. So they call Cameroon uh, Africa miniature. So everything you can see in Africa, you're going to find in, in a triangle, which is Cameroon. The lush greenery overlooks Yonde, the country's capital, also known as the City of Seven Hills. <laughs> These bright lights and crowded streets really give you a glimpse of the vibrant culture of the city that former professional soccer player Mark Nguine calls home. But despite its beauty, poverty casts a dark shadow on his native land. If there's a health issue. It's, it's not easy to people to go, you know, to go to the hospital uh, because sometimes it's, uh, it's expensive or there's no hospital in some villages. Walking down the streets here in the capital city of Cameroon, Africa, you'll find about one hospital every 25 miles. There are thousands in this area that it has to serve, but it's limited to only 150 people a week. Yeah. So we traveled about two hours from the capital city of Yande through winding roads to get to our first site, the remote village of Ayene. As soon as we arrived, they greeted us in French and instantly, despite that language barrier among strangers, <laughs> it felt like we were finally home. When we pulled up, I was thinking, wow, Look at all of the smiling faces, they're so appreciative, and then my heart was exploding. Jessica Bunch is the founder of the Cameroon Dental Project. Jessica Bunch! It was about three years ago she traveled here and met humanitarian Mama Claire, the founder of RepCam, an organization that helps children whose parents are in prison. For many of those children living in a nation with almost 50% of its people in poverty, the absence of basic health care is their normal. And it's a health disparity that Mama Claire knows all too well. As we sat together, she told me it was an emotional day, coming back to her home village to give some help to those who need it most. <laughs> And after Mama Claire introduced us to the village chief, we went straight to work with more than 250 students from village schools. Mr. Vonzi is a headmaster at one of the schools and tells me that seeing a doctor isn't easy for the children. That means that any major or minor health issue could affect his students' ability to learn. Uh, when you are teaching children, they are, sometimes they, they, they come to school, they are not very well. They are very sick because of the teeth. The teeth they have a, a teeth ache, so uh, they cannot listen to the teacher. They cannot do any anything. And we had to turn their classroom into a makeshift clinic with no water or electricity. We relied solely on our generator and daylight. You don't have running water. You don't have uh, water you can drink. So you have to be mindful of those things and and just try to put everything together and make it work. No, 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 no. And we worked until sundown, teaching basic dental hygiene as the dentist performed cleanings and extractions. We were able to heal, heal people from pain that they may have never been able to otherwise get out of. That healing continued for five days at a local orphanage, the Samba Institute, and a local prison, which we weren't able to photograph because of the poor conditions. But in the photos you do see, the smiles tell it all, that no matter what you have, sometimes love is all you need. It's beautiful. It's beautiful, beautiful to be able to serve, to be able to see their smiling faces. Um, they may not have much, but they seem happy, and I'm just happy to be here. That same sentiment shared by Dr. Lindsay Marks. 
This was a defining moment for her. You see, just weeks before this project, at a family reunion, she found out she has an even more personal connection to Cameroon. My genes are from right here in Cameroon. So for them to an announce that at my family reunion was just like, what? The first, the first mission trip that I will take out of the country is a place where I can go and serve my people. So to me, that was just like, it was like my steps were ordered to come here anyway. So now strangers have become more than just friends. And even with 5,000 miles between us, our unbreakable bond will last a lifetime. I have a new family. I have a new Cameroon family. Reporting in Cameroon, Africa, Jennifer Sanders, News Channel 9. What an amazing journey. And if you want to learn more about the Cameroon Dental Project and see more interviews and photos from the mission trip, head to localesquire.com. You can also